Coming up next, it's a heavyweight clash between the Korean Superboy, Duo Choi, and Edson Barboza. All right, so here he is, MMA's human highlight film, Edson Jr. Barboza, when he knocked out Terry Adam with that real kick in UFC 142. I thought the arena was gonna <laughs> crumble to the ground. I have never felt an arena shake like that before, and it's been one highlight after the next for Barboza ever since. And that highlight, that kick will be shown long after Edson Barboza is done fighting. It's one of those things that will stand the test of time. And it's because he's able to set things up in so many different ways, from the body kicks, to the leg kicks, to the great hands. That's why Terry Adam didn't see that. There's no wind-up to anything right. that Edson Barbosa ever does. He's one of the most brutalizing strikers that we've ever seen step foot in the octagon. And the only thing that has eluded him, of course, is a UFC title. Let's see if he can move towards that goal with another win here tonight. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure right. where most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedown. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, <laughs> and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Barboza is five years the elder. He will have a five-inch reach advantage. All right, now for the introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. <laughs> Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 23 wins, 11 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Edson Jr. Barbosa. And now it's his opponent. Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Super Bowl, Do Ho Choi. All right, grip the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is gonna be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? All right, here we go. First round is underway. No denying the big reach advantage for him tonight. We'll see if he can get that jab going early. Look for him to circle on the outside. Use that long jab to keep his distance and only engage on his terms. Let your hands 
And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Well, that body kick was there earlier. You're not there on that attempt. Oh, man, how is he standing? Brutal knee to the body. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much loose. Oh, nasty cut there, right on the bridge of the nose. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? And he landed the right hand there. Nice one, two there. Just over three minutes to go round one. So just over 20 total strikes. And now landed for Edson Jr. Barbosa. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Big powerful punch land. Now he gets back in range. Barboza gets caught by... Oh! Huge right hand! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Effective punch there by Choi. Let's go, let's go. Keep that footwork going. Oh, is that a big knee to the body? We'll see if he can follow up. Wow, massive uppercut. Just misses with the straight right. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Such a fast leg kick. Checks that leg kick. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Big punch land. Oh, that is a nice straight punch by him there. He's got it all going tonight. No wasted actions, no loopy punches. He's going right to the target. Switching stances here. 45 seconds remain in the round. Oh, man, that cut not in a good place, and it's not getting any better. Oh, nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, it's hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. Ooh, big shot land. Punches blocked. Cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Five oh, minutes in the books. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the he got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory.
Oh, that's a nice strike. Slips. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. Caught that. Now there's danger in that too because when you start reaching. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Barboza gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Visibly limping here. And he that comes knee. through with a big knee. That knee hurt him. Oh! There, pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. We march on three minutes to go. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. High-level MMA defense there, able to avoid the punch. Nice job by Barboza. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Joy gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Oh, nice punch there by Edson Barboza. Nice punch to run of the elbow. Plum Daniel, if you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You got to start digging your shoulder to a side and then trying to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai clinch. Ooh, what a punch. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Effectively there by Choi. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You got to start checking these, He's man. Got to check these kicks or. You're gonna be limping around the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. All right, so both fighters now sort of struggling for position here in the clinch. When you find yourself in this situation, what do you do to get out of it? Anytime it's very tough, anytime you're chest to chest and you have nowhere to go, I think to myself, underhook. Whoever's winning the underhook is winning the clinch battle. 
and the horn sounds on round two. All right, so the round mercifully comes to an end, and how about the cut on his lip? Really, really bad. If that thing gets any worse, they're gonna certainly have to stop this fight. The doctor looks like he's already gonna be called in here. All right, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Big kick. What a body kick. And that is a serious cut. Try to establish that jab. Big leg kick lands. Punch over the top. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Joy's hook shot gets blocked. The defense saw that one coming. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Oh, what an fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, he got it hurt bad. Oh, nice combination of ground and pound here by Choi. Connects with a right. Under three minutes now to go in round three. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by the Korean Super Bowl. Well, you got to stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. The Korean Superboy gets back up. No surprise there. Really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. He can't even, he can barely stand. Nice punch lands over the top. Real nice body kick lands. Joy gets stung by that leg kick. <laughs> Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Leg kick thrown. Just misses with that one. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Effective strike there by Edson Jr. Barboza. And there comes the separation now. Punch coming, it's blocked. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Just misses with the left hook. <laughs> Effective 
effective punch there by Choi. Barboza's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. 15 seconds. Choi gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. to the head there by Edson Barboza. All right, so a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. The guy survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result. for certain. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. Nice kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. There, nice connection. Oh, nice land. Lands flush with that right hand. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Circling towards the left now. of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Just over three minutes to go. Stay focused, stay focused. Wild attempt with the right hand there. A debilitating kick there by Barboza. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by the Korean Super Bowl. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. So three minutes have flown off the fight clock there. Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? Hit and don't get hit. But this guy's defense has been sharp tonight. Cat and mouse. You got to play cat and mouse. Hit and don't get hit. He does a great job of that. Straight right. He misses. Nice loop and punch. And both guys really throwing with authority. He blocks the punch. Look at the angle of that nice box. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit.
Under a minute to go. Whips on the straight right hand. Slips. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Nice. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Choi. Ten seconds. For him there, DC. We'll go back and look at some of the highlights. Big knockdown for him. We'll see if he can follow it up. You could see that he was flowing. Everything was working in accordance to what he wanted it to be. And at the moment that it showed itself, the moment that the opportunity arrived, he jumped on it, got that big knockdown, and now he finds himself ahead in this fight. It is the fifth and final round. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. That shot blocked by Barbosa. Just missing on the high kick there. There by Barbosa. Caught that kick there. Oh, a nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. That offering DC, he is hurt. What a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautifully. Perfect placement on that shot. Barboza's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Joy gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Gotta find a way to move those feet. Oh, and that is it. Referee has seen enough, and maybe so have we. Your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. So a massive TKO win for him here tonight. He put it all together, near perfect execution, and he gets one of the bigger wins of his UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliante has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 32 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by TKO, Edson Junior Well, there he is, the man of the hour, and you got to think this dude's going to get a serious Instagram push tonight after the win by TK. Oh, he's going to get a massive push because he hurt his opponent and he pressed his foot down in the gas until he got that finish. That was amazing.